Today I'm working on a seatbelt issue on a 92 Chevy S10 pickup. Most any GM probably through the 80s and 90s would be about the same thing as this. Um, it's the old square button uh, retainer style and the button itself has broken and it's in the down position and will no longer retain the belt properly so uh, we're going to change that out. So I'll start by moving the seat forward as far as I can get it. And we're looking at over here. We got a little cover. We got a wire for the seat belt uh, to tell you when the seat belt is interlocked to shut off the warning buzzer. So we'll start with removing those. I'm going to start here by getting that clip off. Just pry up on that a little bit. Got it. Now that's free. Now we got to work on this cover. This cover comes off with just a little bit of a turn while you're prying up, but I found it's probably going to be easier just to pry it up and call it a day. It does have a uh, threaded quarter turn, half turn, whatever it will take. Now what we're looking at is a Torx. It's about a T50, I think. I'm trying to get that in focus better, but it won't. So that's a pretty big Torx screw, and uh, they like to strip out pretty easy. So to give it the best chance, I'm just going to take it and tap it with a small hammer just a few times to see if we can get it to crack loose a little better. It's like a T, a T45 fits it, but I think it's really a T50, but that's all I've got today. And this one came out easy, but uh, on a truck this age, you'd be lucky to get it out that quick next time. Now here's the old one once we got it out. Um, again, the button... If you can see that, it's actually depressed and it won't come back up uh, by any means. Also, one of the things that kind of uh, bugs you over the years is this, this opens up and then as you're trying to pop the seatbelt, the uh, mail tab into there, this it gets a lot floppier. Um, I got lucky, got this one at the junkyard, had it shipped to me. Um, this one seems to be in real good shape. Just make sure everything's the same. For example, there's a part number on here, TC403. This one says TC404. Just make sure it's the same stuff so you, you know, make sure you got the right part number and everything else because you don't want any, you know, it's a safety device. Okay, back here inside the truck. And we're going to set this one in the exact same position that the old one was. That way it clears the seat, the seat track, everything else. Make sure that's good and secure. Put our clip back in. I'll try to rotate this one just to see if it will. It will. And then let's get our seatbelt warning buzzer put back so that can be quiet when we clip in. All right, and that's pretty much all there is to it. We got this one uh, ready to go. Got good spring action, so it's ready to ride. Okay, so we'll just give that a final test to verify everything's good. Locks in nice and good. Release is clean. We're good. Thanks. 
If you enjoyed watching this video, I'll be happy to make some more in the future. If you would, please like, comment, and subscribe to help the channel. Thanks.